Your 20s can be a confusing time. Even if you are no longer in school, you still have a lot to learn before becoming a fully functional adult. This means you're on your own now. Here are the life skills that every 20-something should have. 1. How to deal with criticism. Nobody enjoys being told they're wrong or that they could be doing something better. It's simple to resent or disregard the person who is criticizing you. To succeed in life, you must always accept criticism and respond positively to it and you must never despise individuals who bring out your flaws. 2. How to deal with rejection. Many people use their 20s to experiment with new activities, professions, and romantic partners. Some of those initiatives will succeed, while others will fail. It's a fantastic chance to practice dealing with rejection, whether it's from a dream employer or a date. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but accept that rejection is a natural part of life. It's rarely about you, and it's certainly not the end of the world. Don't think about it too much. Keep your head up and keep moving forward. Life is full of difficulties. The 20s are an excellent time to toughen yourself and begin educating yourself how to be emotionally and psychologically strong enough to weather the ups and downs of life. 3. How to deal with hardship. In addition to joy and excitement, the rest of your life will undoubtedly entail setbacks, sadness, and frustration. You should use your adolescence to learn how to recover from misfortunes. Most people are comparatively free of the duties that will increase in their 30s and 40s when they are in their 20s. This is an excellent time to try new things, fail, and try again. Learn how to persevere in the face of adversity. 4. How to ask for something you want. The capacity to ask is the simplest and most undervalued talent for advancing your career. However, if you don't summon the guts to ask for a raise, a promotion, or a bigger sales deal, you'll never get it. If the idea of asking for what you want makes you nervous, the user recommends practicing in non-work-related situations. The more you put yourself in difficult situations, the more likely you are to determine that they aren't so bad after all. 5. How to start an interesting conversation. Making conversation is arguably the most underappreciated ability. If you dare to strike up a conversation with the person sitting next to you, you might just make a new acquaintance make a business connection, or learn something new about an old issue. 6. How to follow through on your commitments. Perhaps you promised to attend a friend's birthday celebration, or perhaps you committed to accomplish an extra assignment for your employer. Whatever the circumstance, you should keep your word when you break a promise. People lose confidence and faith in you, which is difficult to regain over time. 7. How to effectively communicate. You can always enhance your speaking and writing skills, regardless of your profession. Consider new methods to push yourself, such as changing the way you compose an email or conduct yourself in a meeting. Refrain from bringing up your suggestion or point of view right away during your next team meeting. Instead, count to five and then speak up if you still feel like you have something to say. If you're shy, on the other hand, challenge yourself to say what you're thinking rather than remaining silent. 8. How to live within your means. All expenditures by young adults should be carefully considered. Only if you can actually afford them are luxuries a beautiful thing. Don't let money be a prisoner to a lifestyle that won't last. Learn to live simply and save money, and you'll have earned the right to indulge in some delicacies in moderation. Guide. How to learn without a textbook. Studying should not be limited to school hours. It may happen anywhere, at any moment, and with anyone, says the author. Keep your thoughts wide open says the narrator. You should always be on the lookout for fresh ways to broaden your horizons. Whatever fascinates you the most, read books, practice speaking different languages, or take music classes. 10. How to accept the possibility of change. According to psychologist Dan Gilbert's research, we have a difficult time predicting how much we will change in the future. It's nearly impossible to forecast where you'll be in a few years. Accepting and accepting change assists you to become more adaptable and flexible. When people oppose and reject change, it can be a lot more difficult for them. Accepting change makes it much easier to deal with it. The more we deal with change, the more accustomed we become to it, and the simpler it becomes to cope. 11. How to make a decision. Effective decision making. Understanding what to do based on the information available is the link between analysis and action. While not being critical can be dangerous, so can overanalyzing or waiting for additional information before making a decision. If you're more of an overanalyzer, try an altered version of Stanford engineering professor Bernard Roth's gun test, which he wrote about in his book The Achievement Habit. Pretend a pistol is pointed at your head and you have 15 seconds to make a decision. You'll almost certainly be able to choose something, 
which will relieve a lot of stress. 12. How to be patient. There's no denying that being ambitious and working hard to attain your goals is critical. Whether those goals are to land a position in the C-suite or to purchase a home. But don't be discouraged if you haven't gotten a promotion or saved enough for a down payment by the time you're 25. Good things do not appear out of nowhere. It takes time to grow and nurture them. They necessitate a significant amount of effort. A lot of thought has gone into this. A great deal of trial and error, as well as the ability to learn from your failures. 13. How to sell yourself. This isn't only a skill for salespeople who work for a living. In any field, being able to sell yourself to others is a necessary talent. You must market yourself to clients and future employers in the professional world. When looking for a spouse, you must sell yourself and your potential contribution to their life. Try narrating a narrative about yourself because it will be easier to remember. Also, make sure your story generates discussion among your audience. 14. Listening without speaking. You will be able to communicate more effectively and create better connections in life if you train yourself to be a better and active listener. In business and in life, listening is the most crucial and undervalued skill. Try mindful discussion if you wish to improve your active listening skills. When two persons are paired up, one speaks for a fixed amount of time while the other remains entirely silent. The second person then mulls over what the first person has stated until the first is pleased. Finally, the roles of the two people are reversed. The goal of mindful conversation is to have less superficial encounters and more interactions where you and your discussion partner feel like you truly understand each other.